is the pet niche too saturated? Is the cat niche too saturated? One of the commenters on one of my SEO videos asked the question, because since I have a cat blog, she asked the question, can I still have a cat blog or is it too saturated already? Can I have a niche cat blog? And the answer is, and I told her in the comment, yes, it is. So. I knew other people would have the same question. So I'm going to go over the cat niche and the pet niche in general so that you can see what you can do in this market. So I'm gonna do my screen sharing now. And as you can see, there are beautiful cats all over the world, many of them, many different breeds, um, and people love their cats. So they're gonna spend money on their cats. When we look at, I'm going to share a presentation I have with you. Um, and, and let me make sure if it lets me share it. It's not letting me share it. Keynote. Okay. All right. So in the pet niche, that would be what we consider a main niche. So your pet niche is the overall umbrella of all the like different pets people have. So within that niche, you have dogs, you have cats, you have birds, you have reptiles, and well, I would even go deeper, snakes, well, we'll just say reptiles, fish. Um, I said birds, I think already. So whatever kind of main pet, that would be a sub niche within the pet niche but then you're gonna drill down even further. So inside, for instance, the reptile niche, you're also gonna have snakes, you're gonna have lizards, you're gonna have different things like um, different animals that fit within that niche. So in the cat niche, we have, um, you can't just make a website called all about cats because you're never gonna rank. There's too many sites that have been around since 2000 and even nine and 10 that are very aged and Google trusts them. They have established their EAT, their E-E-A-T. Remember to click this video up here. Maybe it's the other side. I can't remember which side I put it on, but that video is gonna to explain to you what E-E-A-T is and why that's important when you're building out your site. Unfortunately, Google has put the pet niche inside of the YMYL space. YMYL stands for your money, your life. Google has placed the pet niche inside that because people spend so much money on their pets and so that's their money, but also they look at their pets as their children now, so that becomes your life, the part of the life. So what Google doesn't want is for people to do things to their pets that are gonna hurt them, make them die, make them get sick, um, or things that are not ethical, et cetera. So that is why they're looking for you to establish your expertise, your experience, your trustworthiness, your authoritativeness within whatever niche that is in an YMYL space, which now includes the pets. So when you start that cat site, you are looking at having to, you know, put up with all of that from Google, as well as understanding, I'm gonna tell you this right up front in case you wanna stop watching this video, because it's gonna take you two to, two to three years to really be established in the pet niches. Now, there's some ways that you can make that time shorter. Um, I do own a virtual assistant company and we do have writers on staff, cat writers that are actually very good. If you want to outsource, you can outsource a lot of your tasks to make it go faster to be able to write um, more articles and stuff. But remember, don't go faster don't run faster than you can handle. Let's say in the beginning you're really excited and you're going to write 12 articles this week in your niche about cats. Um, let's say you're going to do Persian cats here, right? And oh, you're really excited and you have a Persian cat and you've been breeding Persian cats and you have all this information about Persian cats and you just want to get it out there. So you get really excited and you start writing, but then guess what? You have a job that you have to go to. You have a family you have to take care of. You have thing, a yard, to, whatever it is, you have other things in life to take care of. And pretty soon you're going to burn out if you keep up like that. So make sure that whatever track you go on, like if you're going to write one article per week, which is what I highly recommend for people who don't have a lot of time. 
If you have the time, then 30 articles a month is an article a day is a really, really good way to do this if you're going to be doing this full time. And if you have some money saved up that you can spend to pay your bills in the meantime, because you're not gonna make money right away. I can promise you that. So inside the cat niche, there's a few niches you can go into. You have your Persian cats, American Short Hill, Maine Coon, whatever it is that you want to go into. Those are some of the niches, but I'm gonna go into some more in just a minute that to like think outside the box because even these, um, I dominate in one of the niches in the pet space, in the cat niches, and I still have a lot of comp competition in the breed that I work with. Um, and so, yes, I'm on page one for a lot, but I'm not making a ton of money right now. I'm making okay, you know, it's doing okay. But we were attacked with malware, and that's another thing. You have to always preempt what could happen. What is a downfall? What is something that could happen uh, to you and your website, right? So what we're going to do is we'll go to the next slide and tell you why could you stay in the niche? Should you stay in the pet niche if that's really your passion, if that's really what you want to do? Or if you want to make some money, and guess what? You can make a lot of money in the pet niche. And the reason why is because the market value in 2022 alone was $232 billion. By 2027, they're expecting that to grow to $350 billion. And then in the United States alone in 2022, it was $99 billion that was, and that, and most of that, I would say, 89 to 90% of that was not vets. So we're talking about cat food, uh, pet food, pet supplies, pet toys, pet beds, cat trees, you know, all of these types of things. Uh, insurance, pet insurance, that's a trending topic. So what what kind of, how can you, but wh why do you want to have the website? If you want to have a cat website, you need to figure out how you're going to make some money on it, right? So you're not just going to have it for the fun of it, unless, well, maybe you are, but most people, you're going to want to monetize it somewhere. So monetizing your cat site, you can monetize it with ad revenue, but the caveat there is that you have to have a certain amount of traffic in order to qualify for any of the ad revenue um, sites that will put the ads on there for you. So Ezoic is the lowest. At, you need 10,000 visitors a month to be able to qualify for Ezoic's ad program. And then you need a lot more. I can't remember how many, but I think it's 150,000 or 60,000 for Media Vine. And then it's like 100,000, and this is per month of visitors, or views, I'm sorry, page views, uh, for Ad Thrive. So those are the three, the tiers go Ezoic, Media Vine, Ad Thrive. A lot of people, a lot of the recipe sites you see are with Ad Thrive, the ones that are really heavy and show up all the time. And your news places like Forbes and all those kind of news places and magazines that are very, you know, popular and a lot of people go to them. They're all pretty much with Ad Thrive. All three of those companies, though, buy all their ads through Google. So it's still all Google ads, okay? Now, the next one is, and, and, and that's very passive, and you can do that even with the ad blockers, even with people saying they don't want to see ads, you can still make some money, not as much as you could do, you know, a few years ago, five or six years ago, but you can still make some passive income there, but you got to get the traffic. The next one is affiliate marketing. So that's going to be selling cat food, litter, pet insurance, things like that. There's a lot of places you can go for sign up for affiliate marketing. You can sign up to be an Amazon affiliate. You can sign up to be a Walmart affiliate. Um, those are the big places, but they pay very, very low commissions. Um, I think the last month I made like a whopping $12 on my, from Amazon uh, because most of the people that go to Amazon and click my links are buying things like cat collars and cat food and cat litter. But that Amazon just pays so low, like 2%. You know, I think 4% is their highest. But I think in the cat niche, it's like 2%. So someone has to spend $200 for me to make $2. So it's not a great place to be an affiliate for. Um, there are other companies, Chewy, for instance, but I believe, I don't know if they've, they've changed their policy. 
I never signed up with Chewy because they only pay you one time. So they don't pay you residuals. Someone signs up for Chewy and you get like a $50 commission, but then the next time they order, you don't get anything. And I like the recurring, if I want, I like to have recurring income because that builds on it. So pet insurance, I do sell pet insurance. I am an affiliate of a pet insurance conglomerate kind of thing. Um, so something like that you could do. The next one is digital products. So you could do ebooks, sell ebooks, audios, calendars, um, any kind of printables that people can just download and pay you. And you can do all those right on your website. And you don't even have to, um, you can just create the PDFs in Canva and put them right on your website and sell them right from there with a plugin from WooCommerce, Commerce, for instance. The next one is you can do print on demand. So you could do sell t-shirts and blankets, mugs, bags, and paintings. Of course, those you'd be sending that traffic traffic off of your site, either onto an Etsy site or which I don't recommend, or you're gonna send them directly to Printful or Gearbubble or any of the places that you can have the people just order direct and then that company will send it. It's kind of like drop shipping. They will make the t-shirt for them and send it out to them. Another area where you could probably monetize is finding the cat cafes in your area and making some kind of a deal with them where they would, if you promote them on your website for locally, like wherever you live locally, or maybe even more than locally, you could probably do it even nationally, I, I think, um, and make a contact them and see if they would become, allow you to help sell their services and get people in the door. And if you bring them, if they give you like a coupon code, then the person, then they know that that person was using you to get there. And then you could make a commission. You could work that out with them. Another thing is the cat rescue centers, depending on the breed, a lot of the cat rescue centers will incentivize you to help get people to bring cats they find into the rescue center. Another thing you could do for cats, and that's kind of weird because we always think about dogs being trained, but you could do a training video course for cats, especially if you have cats that obey you very well and that you can show that you've learned some, taught, maybe you've taught them some tricks. I know my granddaughter has taught our cats to um, shake hands. So um, she could do, you could do like, she could do a whole video training on how she taught the cats to shake her hand. Um, so you can do that. There's a really good documentary on Netflix about in the mind of a cat or something like that. It's a very good movie. You should watch it if you want to do a niche cat site, because in that uh, movie it does show how the trainings work and so then you can see a lot of it. it could even give you some ideas the next thing is to create your own invent your own product let's say you have cats and and you keep brushing them with all the brushes that you're finding online and none of them work as well as you'd like and you said oh if only this brush did this or if only the hair went into this thing you know and then i just pulled and then i just dropped the hair out something like that so you could come up with your own idea produce it, and then sell it directly on your website. Um, so the next step would be is to figure out what sub niche in the cat niche you want to do. And then you're going to want to analyze your competition and research your keywords. And for those, you're going to want to watch my videos on SEO. And, you're, and if you don't know how to build your website and you're a do-it-yourselfer and you want to start your own website, then I have a whole series of videos on my channel that go from 101 to 110 or 112, whatever it is, wherever I stop on how to build your website from beginning to end on WordPress, which is where you need to build building your cat niche website. All of those videos are there for you to follow. Now, if you want help doing that, just let me know, look in my description. I also have all my affiliate tools that I use in creating content for working on my websites. Um, those are all listed in my description, so I would love it. You would help support me and my channel if you would use those affiliate links. And a lot of times those affiliates give you some special offer for using my link. Um, and it changes from day to day, so I can't always tell you what that is. Uh, please subscribe to my channel as well. We're not finished yet. We have some more very important. I want to show you some very important sub niches that 
I just uncovered um, just a few minutes ago before I did this video. So I want to make sure that you get to see those. So don't leave the video yet. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, because then YouTube will help me by showing my video to more people. Um, also, if you want to set the notifications so you don't miss any of my business strategies that I teach and work on, again, I am the owner, I own several businesses and one of my businesses is a virtual assistant outsourcing company. So we can help you with all of your tasks. You can outsource all of it to us. Phone numbers in the description are linked to our 365 things we can help you with is right there. It's a free PDF for you. All right, so let's go on. Let me get rid of this and um, show Google Chrome again. Okay, let me get rid of my Chrome. Okay, so I went to chat. So I'm going to show you two things. If you haven't watched my Bard video, you need to watch that as well. That's a really good video on keyword research. Now, let's go to chat GTP. And what I did was I asked, this was my prompt. I am starting a new niche website within the pet niche. I will choose the cat niche. Since the cat niche is very competitive, I need to find a sub niche within the cat niche. What are less competitive site ideas for the sub niche of the cat niche? All right, so um, it gives me these. So now what I want you to understand is when you look at these, and then I want you to compare it to the barred one, okay? So chat, remember chat GTP does not have access to everything from Google, all right? It does not have access to its algorithm and, and, their, and the way they rank keywords and things like that. So they said senior cat care, I love that one. That's a great one because a long time ago, people used to just let, you know, their cats and dogs were all outside. They just never came in. And if they died, they died. You know, people got sad, but it wasn't the end of the world. But now these animals are their children, their fur babies, they're part of their lives. And so cats live a long time. They can live to be 13, 14, 15 human years old. And they are going to have different health issues as they get older. So a lot of people are going through this. This is a really good space to be in. Cat behavior and training. I already covered that a little bit, but this goes into uh, more about how to play with your cat and things like that. Cat product reviews. Eh, not, I'm not so thrilled about that. That's very competitive. Uh, natural and holistic cat care. That's one I'm going to be covering. So just to let you know ahead of time, I am going to be covering that because I bought some books about this and I noticed that there is, and it's not on the internet. This is all stuff. And then one of my clients also, I'm going to refer her out as the coach, as the, I don't know, nurse to these cats. Um, one of my clients does all this. And so I am going to be getting a commission from her being her affiliate and sending her clients. Indoor cat enrichment, I love this one because people are scared of letting their cats out. Now there was a time when all cats were outside and maybe your cats are indoor or outdoor, I don't know. But a lot of people are building what they call those catios, you know, they're screened in enclosures on your patio or outside of a window or in your yard or wherever. And then they bring their cats out there to play outside instead of letting them roam free and get hit by cars or eaten by wild animals and things like that. So providing exercise for them is very important so they don't get overweight because when cat gets overweight, you're going to have a lot of health problems. Cat photography and art. I love this one. I wish I had the time to do this one. I love doing digital art. I love working in mid journey and making artwork, um, running contests for cat owners. Oh, it's, this, these are just amazing ideas. I just don't have time to do that. Um, cat travel and adventure. That's another really good one. Um, target cat owners who enjoy traveling or exploring the outdoors with their feline companions, offering tips on pet friendly destinations, travel gears, safety measures. Great one. So I went to go visit my um, sister in Washington State uh, from Utah. I live in Utah and I went to go visit my sister in Washington State and we went on a hike. And when we were coming on the hike, we saw a couple and they were walking down the hill and he had a backpack on 
And we could see the little kitty. It was an American short hair, just like I have at home, along with my Siamese. I have an American short hair. And the little cat, just he little, pokes his little head out. And it was so adorable, so cute. And it made me think of this as part of a topic for my Siamese website to talk about this and to have people be able to travel and with the backpacks. And my daughter, my granddaughter, always takes our cats out for walks. She has trained um our cat, two of our cats to walk on leashes and the others go in the end she's trained them all to be in the backpack and she can go for walks with them help take you know and it's just really fun and she's really into that and when they were traveling we traveled across country from florida to utah so we had to find cat beds we had to find a portable cat litter box there are a lot of things we had to do to put them so they would have a comfortable trip and not be so stressed out on a 3,000 mile trip. The next one is cat adoption and rescue. I love this one as well. Also, if you know that if um, one thing with uh, purebred dogs and purebred cats, they don't get put to sleep. So they don't get euthanized in the United States. I don't know of any state that does. So they all have dedicated rescue centers for specific breeds. So like um, if you have a Himalayan cat and it's a purebred and something happens, and it gets lost or whatever, or someone puts, let's say a Himalayan has babies and the owner doesn't want to take care of them and so they just leave them somewhere. Well, they're not going to get put to sleep. They will be put into the rescue center and they will be sold and people will buy them. So this is a, you could feature rescue stories. The You could make a whole list of all the different states and all of their um, adoption areas. And then also talk about responsible cat ownership. Then we have special needs cats. That's a whole nother topic, right? And you could really get into a lot of details with this, get together with maybe a specialist like a vet, connect with them because again, this is in the YMYL space. So the special needs cats, I'm gonna say that niche is gonna be more put, more eat is gonna be expected of you. And then cat, I love this one, cat friendly home decor. Wow, this is so cute. Combine the love for cats with interior design by providing inspiration ideas for cat friendly home decor and furniture that complements both the cats and their owners. So what kind of couch would you buy that if the cat tries to use it as a scratching post, that the couch isn't gonna get ruined. How can you make the cat happy and the owner happy? I know that I've seen on some couches, cause I have that problem. My cats scratch all our furniture and it's just not the end of the world for us. But when I get new furniture to replace that, I'm trying to figure out what could I do? Well, one of the things you can do is there are cat scratching material like, um, oh, I, now I don't know, jute. So jute rope or jute fabric, and you can drape it over the sides of the couch where the cat's gonna scratch. So turn the furniture into scratching posts um, so that you're not getting upset and your furniture's not getting ruined and the cat's being happy. The other thing is to just to deter them all the way and there's certain kind of plastic coverings or different kind of coverings you can put over the arms and the backs of the couches where they try to scratch and they just slip right off kind of thing. I've seen those. Um, so it just depends on the relationship people have with their cats. So you want to offer all of it to them. That is a great, great uh, niche. Okay, so that's from Chat GTP. Now, let's go to Bard. No, excuse me, Bard, which is owned by Google, and let's see what they say. So I, I put in the exact same prompt, and then here are some less competitive site ideas for the sub niche of the cat niche: cat behavior and training. Okay, so this is a, and, and it tells you right there, this is a broad sub niche, okay? So again, you've got to create another sub niche within that. Google's telling you right away what you have to do. ChatGTP didn't say this, but Google is telling you this is too broad. You can't have a site that just says cat behavior and training, but you can focus on topics. Well, that could be your overarching, you know, because otherwise it's not, it's going to be too small. So you would need to cover things like, body language, using the litter box, how to stop them from crash scratching the furniture, all of these kind of topics, that is going to be in there, okay? 
Next one they said is cat health and nutrition. Again, it, they tell you right away, this is another broad one, but you can focus on cat food allergies. Perfect. How to prevent urinary tract infections. How to choose the right food for your cat's age and breed, right? They're giving you some really good stuff that is better than what chat GTP. I mean, they're both good, but chat GTP is giving you ideas, but they don't know Google's algorithm. So getting it from Bard, like I said in my Bard, make sure you're watching my Bard video, is going to help you with keyword research, okay? It's gonna help you more than chat GTP will. Chat GTP is gonna help you more with your writing and your ideation and things like that. The next one on here is cat adoption and fostering. Now this one, obviously it looks like you can write the whole site could be just about that. You can write about the adoption process, how to foster a cat, how to start a cat rescue organization. Oh, that's a really good idea. So Google's telling you what they want more of, okay? How about cat, for here we go with that cat photography and art. Wow, this is really great. It says you can share your own cat photos and art. You can write about how to take better cat photos. You can write how to create cat themed art. So you can teach people how to do this as well, which is very different than what chat GTP gave us. And then cat travel and tourism. This is a niche for cat owners who love to travel. You can write about cat friendly hotels, restaurants, attractions. You can share your own travel stories with your cat. Here again, you're covering eat in this. And Google's telling you exactly what you should be writing about. This is incredible. This is like so valuable. And so those are some ideas to help you get started. Um, and then it tells you some more. It says, look for niches that are related to cat behavior. These niches tend to be less competitive than niches that are focused on general cat care. Focus on a specific breed of cat. Mm, that's what I told you in the beginning. Target a specific animal, like maybe cat owners who live in apartments, cat owners who work a long hours, cat owners who are on a budget. Wow, this is brilliant. So these are some really amazing topics um, that you could have for your website. These are very great ways for you to, I'm just so excited to have found this because I know I'm gonna be doing some of these. This is really fun. Um, so I am really excited about this, and I think that um, you're going to be very successful as long as you have a plan. Let me go back to me being on the camera here. It's kind of hard because my um, the sun is shining right in my face right now, so it might be pretty, I don't know, the timing is not good for me to do this video right now. Let me just um, see if I can't move. I don't know if you guys can even see me. I'll just take off the light so I can move around. Um, but anyway, I'm sorry about that if you can't see me very well at the end of this video. But I hope you got a lot of value out of this. Please uh, leave me a comment and like this video so I know that I gave you great value. And I look so forward to seeing you in the next SEO video or my business strategies and things like that. So thanks so much for watching.